Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Teacher, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but uh, some application is giving me some issues, and I was getting uh, uh, to <laughs> do whatever no I problem, have to do and getting su tech support. But finally, they help me. <laughs> you, you know that I'm always early. <laughs> okay. How's it going? How How's it going, day? teacher? Oh, this Friday has been crazy um, with a lot of traffic. Uh, it was very heavy, but yeah. Because and, it's Friday. <laughs> yes, it's a crazy Friday. And on in the other hand, then Zoom giving me some issues to get with you so but anyways we are here and we are okay and ready to start okay what about you how was your day it was everything was okay um however the traffic always is mm -hmm. is horrible yes the traffic is it's, it's been really heavy today it uh, I drove for two hours today. Oh, uh, really? Yes. There were two accidents, and yes, I was like, nah, really heavy day. But anyway, it's almost over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see that I have, let me see how many are here, 16. Okay, we are good to go. Uh, did you finish yesterday's exercises? Are you waiting to continue today? I present the presentation because I added more exercises for the for yesterday's topic. It's the same, but I think that we're going to go with the new topic today. So let me start sharing screen. Mm, here we are. Okay. Okay, remember we are um, expressing preference using a uh, rather and prefer to. Would rather and would prefer to. This is what we were practicing yesterday. And then we were going to um, to make the questions. Did you finish the questions? Don't remember those questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, finished. Okay, so for number two, what do you have, Magdiel? For the number two? The number two. Um, would you rather study part time or full time? Excellent. And then we prefer? I prefer Would to you study. Prefer? I prefer to study full time. Oh, you prefer to study full time. And the questions you only you only have one. Um, with the uh, prefer could be. Would you prefer to study part time or full time? Excellent, that's correct. Thank you so much for your participation. And okay. are the two questions and the answers are correct grammatically. Well done, excellent, my dear. And a volunteer for number three. Me too. Okay, Byron, thank you. And what would you rather have a boring job that pays well or an exciting job that pay, pays less? I would like to have an exciting job that pays less. The answer. Okay, that's good. 
and yes, it, it is it is valid because not everything in life is money, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good answer and good question as well. So you you just did one question or the two ways? Mm, one question. Uh, only one. I did. Um, yes, only one. Okay. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Uh, volunteer for number four. Do we have volunteer for number four? Nobody has the number four? Me teacher. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Would you prefer to take a long vacation once a year or several short vacations each year? Uh, I prefer to take several short vacations, maybe because, I don't know, I don't like to rest a lot. And even it could be boring. Yes, that's correct. And yes, I, I agree with you. I, I think a long period working is not healthy. So excellent job. Um, now, moving on, love it or leave it. We have another exercise to continue practicing this topic. Um, I volunteer to read the instructions in part A, please. Earth. Complete yes. speaker. Earth. Complete speaker as a question with. Ace. Ace question with four things you would not like to do. Use the ideas in the box or your own ideas. Mm -hmm. Can you read, read the ideas? box? Yes, please. Okay. I was going to ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to play the accor accordion. Learn clothing design. Learn how to repair watches. Study sociology. Take a class in personal finance. Take a cooking class. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for helping us reading, Martial. So there we have some vocabulary in the box. You can also use a different vocabulary, right? Different ideas. Um, I think that sometimes we spend um, a good time thinking on other things, but anyways, you can do it. Um, okay. Uh, Luis Javier is going to be just listening and Ernesto too. Thank you for letting us know, uh, Luis Javier and Ernesto. Um, well, now, for example, we have, do you want to learn to play the accordion? So. The question can be without, rather, or prefer. We can use a simple present as the example. Do you want to learn to play the accordion? And then in the answer, you see, you can um, use rather or prefer to. I rather not. I'd prefer to take a cooking class. Or you can say, I prefer not to. I rather take a cooking class. Okay, and uh, I'll give you time for you to write the questions. Do you want to? Would you like to? Do you want to or would you like to? Okay, we have the options there. Mm, and you can use the vocabulary here in the box. For example, you can say, um, do you want to learn how to repair watches? For example, um, Alex. Do you want to learn how to repair watches? Um, I rather not. Um, I prefer. I prefer to take a class in personal finance. Yes, you can make good money with the finances <laughs> rather than repairing watches. <laughs> Sounds good. 
Thank you so much for uh, helping me with the example, Alex. Is this clear what you're going to do? Write the questions and then we're going to go to the breakout room so that you can practice asking and answering the questions. I will give you time for you to prepare the questions. And uh, let me know when you're ready to break up rooms. Finish the question. Not yet. Okay.
teacher, sorry. Only we are gonna do the question. Yes, or only the question. Okay. Mm, only the questions. Okay. Has everybody finished the question? I finished. Okay. Now the next step is go to, we're going to go to breakout rooms and you're going to be asking and answering the questions uh, with your classmates. You want to take turns and you can decide uh, the dynamic for your participation. Okay, right. teacher, I get it. That means I'm going to create a breakout room. Mm. Picture, we're just uh, waiting. Hello, hi, teacher. Uh, uh, we're only just waiting. Oh, all of you are waiting for to get ready and participate, yeah. or yeah. okay, okay, I'm ready. Uh, what about you, William? Hello, William? William, are you there? Okay, it seems like William is not there, so you can start Emerson and Guadalupe. Okay, if you want Emerson, you can ask me the questions. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, do you want to learn to play the accordion? Excuse me, play a? Yes, I, I'm the play a. Do you want to learn to play the accordion? I'd rather not. I prefer to take classes or, no, sorry. I prefer to play guitar or something like that. Okay, and second. Uh, would you like to learn how to repair watches? Um, 
I prefer not to uh, repair watches. I rather um, not uh, repair anything. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to study sociology? Um, I prefer not to study soci sociology. I rather study uh, psychology. Okay. And the last one. Uh, would you like to? Would you like to take a class in personal finance? Um. I rather not. I prefer to uh, take a, a present. He is not here. Yeah. Maria, are you there? No. No, maybe she's just listening. So you can continue. Repeat the, the, the question. Are you finished? Yes, yeah, only one more. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like to take a cooking class? Um, I'd rather not. I prefer to learn how it works a camera. That's all. Okay, now everybody is in the main section. Welcome back. And we have one more exercise before we go to the game sections and wrap up this topic. So let me continue sharing. Okay, it's just two more exercises for this topic. And this one is easier. We're going to be answering the questions and giving reasons. We have five questions. On your day off, would you rather stay home or go out? And it says, the example says, I rather stay home than go out because, and you have to give the reasons. For example, I'd rather stay home than go out because um, I can do a lot of things at home that I cannot do or I'm not able to do them during the week. So in my day off, I I do the cleaning, I do the laundry, I I go for some groceries, etc. <laughs> so yes, you have to give the reason. And we have uh, five questions. 
Question number two. Would you prefer to have a cat or a bird? Hmm, that's a difficult choice. <laughs> Would you rather live in the city or in the country? When you entertain friends, would you rather invite them over for dinner or take them out to a restaurant? Second option is quite expensive. Number five, would you prefer to see a new movie at the theater or download it and watch it at home? Okay. In this exercise, you have to answer them and uh, Remember to use I rather or I prefer to and give the reasons for your answers. I'll give you time. Let me know when you finish the five answers. You can do them in your notebook. I sent the presentation early in case that you wanted to print it, but if you haven't, you can use your notebook.
Ready? Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Ready, teacher. Good. Thank you for letting me know. Is everybody ready? Yes. Yes, Great. teacher. Let's see. Volunteer for number one. On your day off, would you rather stay home or go out? I volunteer. Me. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, well, I'd rather stay home than go out because in my house I can rest, eat all things I want, and spend time with my family and my dog. Excellent. So you have very, very good reasons to stay home. <laughs> excellent. Yes, your support, Um, that's excellent. Um, Let's see. Any other volunteer for that question? Is somebody there who prefers to go out? I rather uh, go out uh, because it's more funny in when when you go to some some location uh-huh yes you can have some fun because well in some people rather to go out because they can uh, um get relaxed or it's relaxing to be maybe window shopping <laughs> or having a coffee out like yes oh, that's good it's especially in friday and friday yeah but the traffic is horrible. So if you get relaxed in, um, with your friends, you're having fun, but then, you know, traffic is the, ne the next thing that um, is like the nightmare after <laughs> having a good time. But yeah, good. Uh, number two, I volunteer to answer that question. Would you prefer to have a cat or a bird? Volunteer. Thank you, Emerson. I prefer to have a cat because I can play better with a cat than a bird. And while the birds can have it inside the cage, and that is free to walk inside the house. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good reason. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, 
Anybody else for number two? Does anybody have a different answer? Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. Uh, I, I, okay. I prefer her cat because the cats are mystic animals. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Sounds good. And yes, it's kind of sad to have a bird in a cage, right? So they, they, they must be free. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much, Aymara. Number three, would you rather live in the city or in the country? Volunteer. Hi, teacher. Um, Thank you, Manan. Me, I'd prefer live in the city than the country because in the city I have I have the hospital close to my home. Uh huh. Everything is um, a couple of blocks away, probably. So yes, it's more convenient sometimes. But on the other hand, the country is like um you can get fresh air. It's very quiet, but yes, both sides have advantages and disadvantages. Thank you so much for your participation, Manu. Um, number four, when you entertain friends, would you rather invite them over for dinner or take them out to a restaurant? Who wants to answer that question? Volunteer? I would rather go to a restaurant because I don't make dinner. Oh, you can't cook. Okay, that's a very, very good reason <laughs> to take your friends to a restaurant. Thank you so much, Victor. Number five, a volunteer to answer number five. Would you prefer to see new movie at a theater or download it and watch it at home? Thank you, Jose. I prefer to see a new movie at the theater than download it, download it and watch it at home because the experience is better than theater. Excellent. That is a very good point. It's, it's expensive, but the experience, you cannot compare it to, to a movie at home. <laughs> so it's yes. totally different, yes. Thank you so much for your participation. Now uh, we're going to stop for a little while and check attendance, and then we're going to move with the listening exercise and a couple of um, activities related to this topic, just to wrap it up. Um, let me get the attendance file. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Present. 
Gertrudis Aymara. Guadalupe Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you, Aymara. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique. Present. Thank you. Julie Sayamile. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present Miss. Thank you, Luis. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you, Matiel. Marilyn, Marilyn Alejandra, Manuel Alexander, present teacher, Mario Ernesto, present teacher, okay. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Present teacher. Victor. Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Okay. Uh, next thing we have here, it's a listening exercise. I'm going to share here with you. And remember that this is, uh, it is not necessary to print it, but if you have the opportunity and the chance and you prefer to print it, that's okay. If not, you can always work in your notebook. And Let's see the instructions. We're going to listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. First, we're going to complete this information. What course did each person take? The first part. We have Linda, Rich, and Gwen. So I'm going to play the recording and you can take notes uh, on what does um, each person study? What is the course that each of them took? Let me share audio. Are you ready with your notebook and pen? Ready? Ready. Okay, I'll play the recording maybe two times or three, depending, right? In I think it's pretty easy, but you let me know if you want for me to play it twice or three times. Page 52, exercise five, listening, just for fun, part A. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting, and it's not like you would dance that way in clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. 2. Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? 
Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not, but a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? 3. Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was an online course on how to open and run a small business. An online course? How interesting. Did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Did you get all the information on what course each person took? Or you want to listen one more time? Remember, but for now, we're just gathering the first, um, the first part of the chart, this information. Do you want for me to play it again or you get all the answer? Uh, one more time, please. Uh, sure, my pleasure. Page 52, Exercise 5, Listening, Just for Fun, Part A. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? 1. Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. 2. Rich So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not, but a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? 3. Gwen I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was an online course on how to open and run a small business. An online course? How interesting. Did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, let's see what you have. What course did Linda take? Volunteer? African dance. Yeah, she took an African dance course. Excellent, Magdiel. Uh, what about Rich? Volunteer? Cooking class. Yes, excellent, Guadalupe. Thank you so much. And finally, when? 
What kind of course did you take? She take online course about how to open and manage a small business. Yes, excellent. How to open and run a small business. Excellent. Thank you so much for your responses. They are all correct. Now, let's see the next part. What each person learn? Now we have to um, listen and write. What did each person learn? Okay, that's second part of the chart. Ready? Ready. Page 52, exercise five, listening. Just for fun. Part A. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting, and it's not like you would dance that way in clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. 2. Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not, but a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learned more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? 3. Gwen I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was an online course on how to open and run a small business. An online course? How interesting. Did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Did you get all the information on what each person learned? Or you want to listen one more time? I have the number one teacher. The number one? Yes. Okay, let's check. She what... learned, she learned uh, African dance and samba. Uh-huh. What else? What what information what additional information did you get? Uh, what okay. else? Mm -hmm. uh, learn how, how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Excellent, Mario. That's correct. Thank you so much for the answer. Um, then, Rich. What else did he learn? Um, how to cook without loss the vitamins of the vegetables. Excellent. Yes, correct, Alex. Thank you so much. And finally, when? Uh, he learned general principle about how to open a business, investing, and manage money. And, yeah, great. So here we have all the information that you get, how to be more confident and interact with 
better with people, the health value of food, and investing and managing money. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, excellent. You're good listeners. Okay, now, what do you hear? Remember that we were discussing about intonation in questions when they are um, asking about choice. We're going to click on the audio icon and listen to the sentence and click on the word or phrase with rising intonation. Do you remember that we studied that yesterday? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the first with you, and then I'm going to ask for volunteers. Remember that we're going to click the one with rising intonation, the one that increases or goes up. Would you rather major in business or psychology? Which of the two has the rising intonation? Business. Let, let me see. Aha, uh -huh, that is correct. Businesses. That one is the correct answer. Thank you so much. A volunteer for the next one. Remember, you just have to click the icon and select the word with rising intonation. Volunteer? Okay, I have Emerson. I'm going to give you the control of the meaning. Emerson. Okay. You can click the, the icon one time, two times. Would you prefer to learn German or Spanish? Excellent, very good Emerson. Let's try another one, click next. Okay. Would you rather work inside or outside? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, Emerson. Anybody else would like to continue with the next pair? We're going to make two, okay? Um, another volunteer. Thank you, Emerson. Another volunteer. Victor. Thank you, Victor. Give me one moment. Okay, there you are. Click next and then next. Next, abajo. Ese ya lo hicimos. Vamos a hacer dos más. Would you rather study abroad in Buenos Aires or Florence? Excellent. Let's do another one. Click next. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to work with others or work alone? Excellent, Victor. Thank you so much for your participation. Another volunteer?
Next, volunteer for the next one. We're just missing one. Jose, thank you. I'll give you the control, Jose. Okay, Jose, click next and then the audio and select the answer. Would you rather study engineering or communications? Excellent. Thank you so much, Jose. Hey, I see that was pretty easy. <laughs> Are you excellent listeners? Okay. For the next um, exercise, uh, we have the drag and drop. It is drag and drop. This is what we're going to do. We're going to check the, to choose the correct words to complete the conversation that we have here. And we have one, two, three spaces and four expressions. So it means that there is one extra answer. Volunteer. I have Daniel. Okay, Daniel, I'm going to give you the control. Mm, there you are. Check answer. Excellent. Well done, Daniel. Very good. Now, a volunteer to role play the conversation with Daniel. Volunteer to role play. Alexandra. Okay, Daniel and Alexandra. Let's role play the conversation. You Ra can start, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Would you rather take a communication class or a psychology class? I think I prefer to study psychology. It's more interesting. Would you prefer prefer to take it? Uh, Would you prefer to take it spring semester or fall semester? I rather take it spring semester. Fall semester will be too busy for me. Excellent. There you go. Thank you so much. Now, um, let's see, next. Volunteer for the next one? Volunteer? No volunteers? Mario, okay, Mario, I'll give you the remote control. Hmm. There you go. Excellent. Let's role play this. I'm going to start. I'm A and you are B, Mario. 
Would you prefer to study education or nursing? To tell the, the truth, I'd rather not study either. I prefer to take an engineering class. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation, Maya. Uh, a volunteer for the next one. Okay, well, I have to give me the control. Excellent. Very well, Joe. Um, volunteers to work play with Alexandra? Me to check. Thank you, Manuel. You can start. Um, could you prefer to join the business club or the biology club? Alexandra, I think. Oh, creo que... Alexandra. Sorry, I can't. Eh, eh. No puede quitar el mute. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I prefer to be in the business clubs. What about you? I prefer not to join either club. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, I volunteer for the next conversation. Okay, Elizabeth, allow me one moment. Okay, ready. Excellent. Now let's role play. Uh, volunteer to role play with Elizabeth. Volunteer to practice the conversation with Elizabeth. Thank you, Thank you Maria. You can start, Elizabeth. Or let me see. Let me see. Okay, Elizabeth. Thank you. <laughs> Would you rather learn Spanish or Portuguese? I prefer to learn both, but I am going to visit South America next year. Are you going by yourself? Well, I'd rather go with a friend. Okay, very well done. Thank you so much for your participation. And we will um, this 
this is it for that topic. And we're going to continue sharing the presentation here. This is the last exercise we did, the listening and the arcade games. Now, we have this conversation. It is on page 14 of your material. And the, and the objective is to identify reasons for the decline of a product, such as strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product. So in this conversation, Sonia and Oscar are talking about print or tickets and its behavior in the market. We're going to repeat the conversation at home and then we're going to practice in pairs. Did you hear the sales of the print or tickets had declined? I did, I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember you put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortillas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Do we have questions about this conversation? Maybe vocabulary, pronunciation? Are you ready to role play? Okay, volunteers to role play. Magdiel, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, volunteers to role play with Magdiel. Elizabeth, thank you so much. You can start, Magdiel. Okay, thank you. Do you hear the sales of the of the green tortillas have declined? I did. And I can't believe it. We work many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Now change roles. You start now, Elizabeth. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce into the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas would success with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do we have two more volunteers? I have Emerson. Who wants to have Emerson with the conversation? Volunteer? Alex, thank you. You can start, Emerson. Did you hear the sales of the green tortillas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to, do this, to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I told green tortillas we would succeed with a little look, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, thank you so much. Would you like to change role? Sure. Okay. Okay. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it, to introduce it into the market. 
Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought Winter Pickers would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. There you go. Excellent. Very good job with the pronunciation. Now, let's see. The next exercise, uh, it's about the conversation. We have uh, we have to use that conversation to get the, the idea to answer these questions. If you remember the life cycle, Steph, in what stage of the life cycle is green tortillas at the moment? Decline. Decline, yes. Now, in what stage of the green tortillas life cycle did Sonia invest a lot of effort? Introduced to Mark. And yes, excellent. That's correct. Now let's complete the statements. And for this, you can use the conversation to help yourself. Number one, two, and three, they are sentences that have been taken from the conversation, as you can see here. And it is on page 14 of your material. Um, so you can check that on your material or let me, yes, okay. This is my, let me get into the material. I'm going to stop sharing for a while. I guess that you have the material handy, but. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to share that for you too. Okay. Here it is.
finished. It's only the 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 three, yeah. Mm -hmm. The three sentences at the bottom of the page. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one. Uh, introduce it to the market. Uh huh. We worked, and according to the conversation, what is the missing word? Many hours. Many hours. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so much, yeah. Alexandra. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Uh, number two, volunteer. A lot of. You put a lot of. Aha, uh -huh. excellent. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. And number three, I thought. I thought the pro would stick with a little milk. Excellent, Maria. Yes, that's correct. And that's the next topic that we're going to be discussing and practicing. The words that you have here in bold that are the same that we use in the exercise number four, they are called quantifiers. And sometimes maybe we have some, uh, we, we have a hard time thinking which one are, uh, is it correct to use. They have to do with, um, with the fact that the names are, that the nouns are countable or non countable. So here we have this chart on page 15 on how to use the quantifiers. Okay, uh, these expressions of quantity that are used with noun count nouns are the following. A little, a lot of, some, much, a great deal of, plenty of, and no. Okay, those quantifiers are used with noun count nouns. Now, the ones that we use with countable or count nouns are a few, a lot of, some, many, plenty of, and no. As you can see here, some of them can be used with count and non-count nouns. For example, a lot of, we can use them in both, uh, some, same thing, and uh, plenty of and no, okay? They can both be used with count and non-count nouns. Um, and this is a matter of practice. I think that um, it is kind of difficult for us to like memorize this chart, there's no time, so we're just going to be practicing it. Um, and the first exercise to practice this topic is the one that you have in exercise three, in which we are going to identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of the quantifiers. And we have six statements. I'll give you some time for you to identify the mistakes in those sentences. And you can work if you want to work in the in the PDF, that's okay. You can underline the mistakes or you can work in your notebooks.
fecha. Finish. En el number one, Dana projected the new product will not, will not attack, attack many customers. Uh -huh. So, what is the mistake? El much, 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 sería many. Uh, yes, it would be many because customers is count noun. Uh huh. Very well done, Mario. Thank you so much. Let's see who found the second mistake. Uh, number three before mm -hmm. self decline it is essential that we implement um, a great deal of modifications and well, what modifications is countable modifications yes it is countable so what mm -hmm. would be the correct the correct choice here uh, we implement some or many modifications. Many or plain or yes, many would be the best option here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it can be plenty of as well. Right. Thank you so much, Alex. Let's see who has identified the third mistake. Uh, the five. A few comp competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. The change is a little to a few. Excellent. Uh huh. Competitors. It's that's countable. So. And a little is for non countable noun. So the best choice would be a few for that sentence. Excellent. Very well done identifying the mistakes here in these sentences. Um, we're going to continue practicing this topic, but um, we're going to check attendance first. And then we will continue. So let me stop sharing here for a little while. Get that file with the attendance. Mm -hmm. In one second, there is no link. It's taking too long. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's start with Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Alex Enrique Lemus. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi Ramos.
decía Noemi Ramos. Okay. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander. Present. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Gertrude Saimara. Guadalupe Alexander. Present. Sí. Present. Thank you, Alexandra. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet. Carla Ivania. Yes, and teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Manuel Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alexandra. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Victor Noé. Present. Thank you. Vidal Pairon. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, William Alexander. Okay, thank you so much for writing. Oh, uh, let me continue sharing. Well, in the presentation, I shared. Let me just get into the material here. This vocabulary for us to be able to continue practicing the quantifiers vocabulary. And we are going to practice with this uh, with this topic. This is about uh, the city and things that we can find or can lack of them in the city. So we're going to match the words that we have here and you can do it in your notebooks um, to make the compound nouns. For example, we have subway station. Okay, here we have subway. And here's station. And we have the compound noun complete. And more than one combination might be possible. Let's see what we have in column A is bicycle, bus, news, parking, street, subway, taxi, traffic, train. In column B, garage, jam, lane, Light, pace, stand, station, stop, and system. Is there a new vocabulary here? No new vocabulary? Well, I don't know what means. Jam. Jam. Mm -hmm. Es. Mario. Es atasco. Atasco. Es. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tiene que ver con atascado. Algo que está atascado o atorado. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Maria. Yes. 
any other lane um lane here we have one example a bicycle lane is uh, carril in espanol decimos carril carril lane okay thank you and you're welcome nice that you are learning new vocabulary Entonces podría unir y decir news stand. News stand, ajá. Uh -huh. That is one. Excellent. News stand. Y bus stop. Bus stop, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, traffic light. Sorry? Uh, could be another uh, traffic light. Yes. Can be traffic light, another combination with traffic? Traffic jam. Traffic jam, excellent. Traffic jam, traffic light. Train station. Only train station? Remember that more than one combination is possible. So you can write the combinations and then we chart. Space.
Ready to check your combination? Are you still working? Ready. Ready. Okay, for bicycle, we have bicycle lane and also bicycle stand. Do you have the two combinations with bicycle? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Uh, do we have, uh, or can we find a bicycle lane and bicycle stands here in El Salvador? Yes, bicycle lane in different places. Uh-huh. What about bicycle stand? I think that there is a bicycle stand in El Principito Park. Have you seen it? Or no? Haven't you seen it? No. No. Mm -hmm. But yes, there is one bicycle stand there. Now, what about bus? What combinations do you have with bus? Bus station. station. Bus stop. Bus stop. Mm -hmm. And bus we system. can. Uh -huh. Bus system. Yes. Bus system. Bus lane, bus station, and bus stop. So there are four combinations with bus. What about news? News? News stand. News stand? Mm -hmm. Only one combination with news? New system. Okay. Yes, only one news, news stand. Only one is possible there. What about parking? Parking light. Parking. Parking, garage. parking garage, parking lane, uh huh. Parking light? Mm, no, only those two parking garage and parking space. Yes, that, that would be a good, yes. Parking light, like in the malls, right? There are parking lights. Mm -hmm. That could be one. All right. Now, uh, street. What combinations do you have with street? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us check. Street. Only one street light. Street light. Mm -hmm. Now, subway. Subway station. Subway station. Subway station. I'm sorry. Subway system. Subway system. Yes, yeah, so we have subway station, subway stop, and subway system. What about taxi?
taxi how many combinations do you have with taxi taxi station taxi station uh-huh taxi station Only taxi station. Okay, let's check. Uh, we have taxi lane and taxi stand. Taxi lane and taxi stand. What about traffic? What combinations do you have with traffic? Traffic jam. Traffic jam, uh-huh. Any other possible combination? Traffic light. Traffic light. Let's check. Yes, only two, traffic jam and traffic light now the last one train train system train, train system train system train station uh-huh we have three train station train stop and train system Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this vocabulary and we'll send it to the WhatsApp group because um, I think that we're going to be using it for the classes on next week. Because yes, we're going to be um, practicing the quantifiers with, and this is part of the topic. This vocabulary is the one that we're going to be using it to continue practice the quantifier with much, a few, a little, uh, plenty of, etc. And for now, that's it for today. And I hope that you enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Rest a lot. See you on Monday, teacher. See you. Teacher. Have See? a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Good night. Sleep well. I have a good weekend. You do the same. Bye bye, people. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.